Hi, today we want to share with you a quick tip on how to magnify your images using a Nikon camera. Now this applies to several Nikon cameras including the D810 which we have here. Uh, what we are going to show you now is how it actually applies using just a single button. We are with the Nikon D810. Now let's say that we want to zoom in into this image. We will need to press the plus button several times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight times to get into the 100% uh, magnification in this case. And again, if we want to go out, we need to press the button several times, the minus button several times to go out into the full display of this image. Now, there is a way in which we can do this entire thing with just one click of a button. What we need to do in the case of the D810 is go to the menu, go to the pencil, uh, which is the custom settings uh, setting menu, the pencil right here, and then go to controls. So let's go to controls. In controls, we need to go to F2. This is the multi selector center button which is a really annoying name uh, for this type of, uh, of functionality. We go into this and then we choose the playback mode and the zoom on off setting. Here we have three options. We have low magnification 50%, one to one which is 100% and high magnification 200%. We choose to one, the one and one one to one, a 100% magnification, and that's it. Now let's say that we look at the image again and we want to uh, zoom in into 100% magnification into the bird. We simply press this button, the OK. And there you go, just one button and you can move in, uh, inside with a zoom. You want to go outside, again we press the OK and that's it. Very, very simple, but you need to know how to actually do this. Now, let's look at how you can do the same thing on the Nikon D7100. So we are here with the Nikon D7100, and let's say that we want to do the same thing. Here we have an image. Let's say that we want to go inside. We need to press the plus button or the minus to go out into the full image. Now, let's say that we want to do the same thing that we did on the Nikon D810 with just uh, one click of the OK button, we need to go into the menu and in the pencil menu, the custom setting menu, we need to go into F, the controls, and here the F1, very, very simple, we have OK button, much more uh, simple, much more sensible naming than what we have on the D810. We choose this, then we go into the playback mode and we choose zoom on off and here we have three options we have the low magnification medium magnification and high magnification we're not sure why nikon didn't uh, uh, choose to actually give them uh, the actual magnification one to one uh, or 200 percent or something like that but we know that the medium magnification should be one to one 100 percent so we choose medium magnification and let's go back into the image so this is our image and now with a simple click on the OK button, we see uh, the full image in 100%. And in this case, we can see that the image is not sharp. Uh, so the focus wasn't good or there was some other problem. Uh, and we do this all the time. Every time that we shoot, we, cho we check the focus uh, using just one click. Very useful. Just another click and you have uh, the image in full, uh, in, uh, full uh, view on the uh, on the screen. So and uh, one thing that you have to consider when uh, thinking about this tip, this uh, useful feature, is that it doesn't exist on all Nikon cameras. It does exist on uh, some of the higher end Nikon cameras, so you can find it again on the D7100, the D300S, uh, you can find it on the D810 as we have seen, and the D750, and of course the D4 and D4S. Uh, you can find it on the D600 for some reason, but uh, from what we understand the D610 does have this functionality. Uh, lower end models, these 3000 series and 5000 series don't have this function. We don't know why. For some reason, Nikon decided that this is too advanced for 
uh, amateur or beginner photographers. This is plain wrong in our view. Uh, it should exist also on the uh, lower end series of cameras. Actually, it should be a default state in our view. Uh, but this is how it goes. Very, very simple. You need to know how to do it. Uh, it might be a bit different for each camera, but this is the basic idea. So here you have it. Really simple, really easy if you know how to do it. If you want to watch more uh, tips and videos, go to lensway.com.